Did you miss me? No! God, please, no! 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 Well, tough, because I'm back to do predictions for week 10. I've got over 30 years of football knowledge stored up in this brain, so I should be able to pick my way through the basket case that is championship predictions. But I do have to adhere to the golden rule, and that is Oxford always win. <laughs> And we're at home this week, so that actually might come true. But let's not waste any more time, folks. Let's dive into this. We've been away for far too long. Let's start with these predictions. And what a game to start it off. Leeds United versus Sheffield United on Friday night. It's almost worth having the international break to have this one to come back to. Well, almost. But Leeds fans, look away now. I still can't quite believe that happened and I'm feel for you Leeds fans that was a horrible mistake at the end of the game but I'm sure you're going to bounce back this weekend I don't know much about Sheffield United so I assume they're not doing very well let me just check my notes unbeaten and second oh bollocks Anyway, it should be a cracking game I've committed to having a Leeds victory now because I felt sorry for them after that Horror show from Meslier last weekend. Sorry, Blades fans, but I'm going to go with Leeds. It's the end of your unbeaten run. Leeds United 2, Sheffield United 1. I just want to interject. We just spoke about Sheffield United, so I just thought I would bring this up about the tragic passing away of George Baldock about a week ago. It's unbelievably sad news, and he's a player who didn't have a long stint with Oxford United, but he's somebody that left a lasting impression, I can tell you, and is gone on to be loved by the MK Dons fans and ultimately even more loved by the Sheffield United fans. The Baldock family has strong connections with Oxford United, so it makes this news even more difficult to digest, and it's hard to imagine what the families must be going through so spare a thought for them but Baldock was a fantastic football player and he is going to be sadly missed to lose your life at 31 just doesn't seem fair really does it though raise a glass light a candle whatever it is you're going to do and of course leave thoughts with the family because once again we'll say rest in peace George Baldock Cardiff City versus Plymouth Argyle up on the Saturday and two sides that have got new leases of life this season. Cardiff needed to shed the old skin of an old boss and they're looking more optimistic now. And Plymouth going great guns under Wayne Rooney despite him getting a red card. They recorded a great win last time out. And I like the swagger of this Plymouth side and I actually hope they do well this season. Um, and I think this one's going to be honours even. I can see it ending in a 1-1 draw. And we move on to another derby between Luton Town and Watford. No love lost between the Hatters and the Hornets. And quite surprisingly, you a lot of people would have thought they'd be in different positions after nine games. With Watford in the playoffs and Luton struggling badly down the bottom of the table. Luton needs something after that poor display that they had against Sheffield United. Maybe the international break came at a good time for them. But I think this one is not going to go... Well, they're going to get something from it. I don't think they're going to win the game. I think it's going to be another draw. I think it's going to be Luton 1, Watford 1. Oxford United versus West Bromwich Albion. Undoubtedly the game of the weekend, I'm sure you will all agree. Look, Oxford are at home. We don't lose at home. We don't concede many goals at home. What could possibly go wrong? Well, we are playing a West Brom side who have stuttered a little bit in the last few weeks, but have had a very strong start to the season. They've still got Madger up front who's scoring goals for fun. And this is going to be a tough test, make no doubt about it. Can't even remember the last time we played West Brom in a league game. It's another one where Oxford have just been vacant from this level for such a long time. I can't quite remember. Maybe you can let me know down in the comments. But I, of course, have to back the U's in this one. It's going along with the golden rule. And I think Oxford are going to get the job done against the Baggies. Baggies, Baggies, boing, boing, all the way back to the black country with zero points in their back pocket. Oxford United 2, West Brom Ajabian nil. 
Preston North End versus Coventry City, and I wouldn't have had this one earmarked for a game of two clubs kind of struggling down the bottom. But Preston's fortunes have certainly turned around under Paul Heckingbottom, and they're starting to look more up the table. Coventry, oh God, just can't get any momentum going at all. A, a horrible, cruel defeat to Sheffield Wednesday, which would have left a bitter taste in the mouth all the way through this international break. And I just can't really back Cov anymore because they just keep letting me down all the time. So I'm going to say that Preston get the job done at Deepdale. Not going to be pretty, but Preston North End 1, Coventry City nil. Blackburn Rovers versus Swansea City. Uh, look, Blackburn are another side who've just had a couple of dodgy results. It's kind of stemmed the tide from what has been an excellent start for John Eustace's side. The Swansea, I'm really not that impressed by, by what I have seen. And I wonder whether you might start to see them slide down the league a little bit. Let me know, Swans fans, if you're watching this. Remember, I am kind of making wishy-washy claims here of hardly watching your side at all. But I do fancy Rovers to get back to winning ways in this one. I think it's going to be a strong home win for the ex-Premier League winners. I'm going for Blackburn Rovers 3, Swansea City 1. Middlesbrough versus Bristol City. And again, you've got two clubs here. You're just difficult to know what you're going to get from them. I, I do feel Bristol City have been a bit lacklustre in their games. They always seem to be kind of scrambling back to try and get something out of games. They never seem to be able to keep clean sheets. Middlesbrough generally seem to be quite solid, but they gee on a run of to have a good result, have a bad result. So what can you do? What can Millwall you expect? Millwall versus I, I Darborough are going to edge it. And um, if, they, if I'm going on the method here, of the tried and tested uh, method of them having a good result in the championship result, so far, they do a good teams result. Teams so I think Middlesbrough very different are just going to how they are think away. Bristol City are going to be unable to get back into this one. And it's going to be Middlesbrough 1, Bristol City 0. You've seen a Derby side win four games, and I think all four of those wins have been at home. I might be wrong. Rams fans, let me know. But struggle when they're away from Pride Park or the baseball ground, however you want to say it. Whereas Millwall, I know they had an away win earlier on in the season, but generally seem to find four when they are at the new den. So logic just tells you in this one, not that logic is used in this channel very often, that Millwall are going to come through and win it. And I think that that is going to be true. So I think that Millwall will get the victory in this one. Millwall to Derby County nil. Queen's Park Rangers versus Portsmouth. Two sides struggling. For points, two sides struggling down the bottom of the table. Two sides struggling for wins. Portsmouth haven't got any wins. Couldn't beat Oxford United. We even gave you a penalty. We gave you goodness knows how many chances, but you couldn't get the job done. Portsmouth fans, I just want to notice, I know we've had some banter and some silly back and forth after that game on my review of the video of the game, but... I'm just curious where you feel your side is at the moment, um, because for me, you don't quite look as strong a side as you did last season. Even though people seem to say that was a really good performance against Oxford, I didn't think it was that great. I didn't think you were anywhere better than what the Portsmouth that won the league last season. So let me know what you're thinking. QPR, again, struggling as well. So both sides will have this ear marked as a victory. It's getting more and more games that go along for Portsmouth that they don't win. The more and more pressure is going to mount on John Massinho. And who knows if they might pull the trigger there. But I don't think either side is going to win it. I think we're looking at a draw. And I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Sheffield Wednesday versus Burnley. Sheffield Wednesday are having dramatic games left, right and centre in the championship. They're either winning in the last minute or throwing things away in the last minute. But they but they got a fantastic late, late victory over Coventry with two late goals. That's the way to do it, Wednesday fans. And they'll be hoping that they can get a bit of a scalp against a Burnley side who haven't really been are looking decent, are looking good, they're at the top of the league, but they're not not really taking teams apart. They, I mean, they're an excellent side in possession. They'll probably control the majority of this game, but it's just whether they can stick their chances away is going to be the big difference. I, I do feel that it's going to be one where Wednesday are on the back foot for large periods of this one, and I just feel that Burnley are going to get the job done, and I feel it's going to be Sheffield Wednesday nil. Burnley 2. 
quite low scoring games I've got so far in the championship, but don't worry, this is going to change everything. Because Stoke City versus Norwich, I think it's going to be a cracker of a game at the, um, I don't know what you call your stadium, Stoke. Bet365? I'm going to go with that. I don't know. I can't remember what you call it. Britannia Stadium. Let's go old money on it. But Stoke have uh, certainly improved uh, since the new manager coming in. Got that huge victory over Portsmouth. And it just seems that kind of the doom and gloom has lifted around Stoke City and they can start looking forward to their football again. But Norwich have certainly found goals and found form. And they look like they're going to be a tough side to stop and uh, makes me quite glad that we played them on the first day of the season. But Norwich look really good going forward, and I don't think Stoke are going to be able to fight fire with fire. I think they're going to try to fight fire with fire, and I think they're going to come up on the short end of it. And I think it's going to be a high-scoring game in Stoke. It's going to be Stoke City 2, Norwich City 4. And finally, we come to Sunday, and it's Hull City versus Sunderland in what should be another entertaining game. The Tigers looking pretty good at the moment, and Sunderland were the beneficiaries of that last gasp, Meslier Howler, which got them that 2-2 draw against Leeds. And I feel here in this game, you've got two sides that are pretty good going forward, but do have their problems defensively, and I feel that it's going to be an entertaining game, but quite a high-scoring one, but I think this one is going to end in a draw, and this is where I'm going to put my Desmond in, so it's going to end the weekend with a nice 2-2 draw. There it is, folks. That is week 10 in the books. Set your watches by it. Is that a phrase? But definitely put your mortgages on it, because this is all bound to happen it's only a little bit of fun of course but if you can support this video that does help me out a lot by hitting the like button by subscribing to the channel by leaving a comment down below let me know what you think about my predictions leave your predictions down below and i'll be back to do a review of oxford united versus west bromwich albion on the saturday and then it's another crazy midweek game where i'll be firing out videos and predictions all over the place so make sure you've hit the notify bell so you don't miss out on anything and i will be back very soon my work is done here what do you mean your work is done you don't do anything <laughs> didn't i